Okay guys, in this video I want to teach you how to become an HTML and CSS wizard. So HTML and CSS are two foundational skills or languages and then they translate into skills that you absolutely must know. So HTML and CSS are basically the structure and the way a page looks like. If you are really good at CSS, nobody cares because you need to be good at JavaScript. But if you're not good at HTML and CSS, nobody will hire you for a front-end developer position, okay? Knowing HTML and CSS is like wearing pants. Nobody cares if you have pants. But if you do not have pants, people will think you, you are crazy, people will call the police, people will, call, will escort you out of the uh, restaurant, from the club, from the bar, from wherever you'll be, you'll be taken out. So that's how HTML and CSS actually work. You need to know it and you need to be really good at it. If you do not know it, it doesn't matter how good you are at JavaScript, okay? So very, very important to know before we get into this. So this is my get good framework. It's a framework, it's not a tutorial on how to write divs and classes and whatnot. It's more like a framework. It's about how to think because when you are experienced, you do things without thinking about it, if that makes sense. Things are subconscious, but it took me maybe a year or two to be able to just look at things and then break them down so I can recreate them with HTML and CSS. And this is my framework that I came up with in the past couple of weeks that's absolutely going to change the game for you. You'll become really good, really quick if you apply this framework. If you do not apply it, then you will be pretty much, okay? So please pay attention to this video and then at the end I'm gonna give you a call to action and then you have to go ahead and implement it straight away. Let's break some website down. This is extremely easy. So this is the Apple website and I have mentioned the Apple website a few times in my past videos and I said go ahead and copy the Apple website. And uh, recently a student enrolled in my program which you can also do by applying via the link in the description. And I told him the same thing. Go ahead and recreate the Apple website. You would think that if you work with me, I'm gonna give you a different advice than what I'm giving you here, but I'm actually giving all my information for free on YouTube, but you do not apply it. Anyway, so I told him he needs to do this and his first reaction was, I cannot do this, right? Because look at this website. This is not the actual website, this is a screenshot. But you can see like, it's fairly complicated. But it's fairly complicated because you do not take a step back and think, okay? The most important thing that you need to have as a front-end developer is your mindset, your mind, your ability to think. So the only way to eat an elephant is by eating it piece by piece, okay? And if we look at the Apple website in this way, it looks a bit more approachable, right? You can see actually the individual pieces that are making this website pretty interesting right I have used some JavaScript in order to add a border to every HTML element on this page and that's how the Apple website looks like as you can see here we have one slide this is the same slide with a different image different text same slide with different image different text this one is the same as this one but smaller same as this one same as this one this is a bit different but this one it's again the same as this one this is a bit more complicated, let's say, but it's still an image with a button, some text. And this is a bit more complicated as well, but there are just more elements squeezed down into one place. So now when you think about it like this, if we go back to our slides, this is our first task. Let's recreate the navbar. How do you do that? Well, you have a div, inside you have a UL, inside you have an li for each item from the list that's it the html is done you're gonna put some classes on it and then you're gonna use flexbox you're gonna justify content center everything that's it boom crazy right when you start thinking about it now this is the next slide what do you see here a picture a big ass div some text some justify content center with display flex 
that's it go to the next one same thing right same thing here as well can you see like how simple this thing actually is and all you have to do is to take a step back stop overthinking and start looking at things and see them for what they are it's very very simple actually again super simple stuff look at this yes this is a bit more complicated right but if you can see here we have one big div here you have one two three four five six seven eight nine paragraph tags let's say then here we have one big ass div with a few columns one column second column third column fourth column fifth column here we have a header maybe an h6 or something like that and then we have a list of links here we have a list of links as well and so on and so forth again nothing crazy but this is a framework that i use in my head right by default without even thinking that i use to create html and css layouts websites web apps and my challenge for you is to go ahead and replicate the apple website using this framework that i just showed you take every single bit replicate it from scratch take the navbar replicate it take the first section replicate it put all your tags in one place fill it in fill those tags with text and then you apply flexbox you start laying things out nicely from left to right center things etc etc once you have that you start adding margins paddings font sizes font weights colors and just like that in a couple of days you have a perfectly replicated website and you do that a few times you can take another website for example another good one is yeah you take this website and you copy it from scratch super simple but you just have to do it you just have to do it and i said this many many times in my videos you have to do things that's why i repeat myself because you have to do things you have to stop watching videos you have to stop learning stuff you have to actually do stuff otherwise you won't get anywhere watching content is super easy working is difficult that's why most people are broke because they are not working they do not work they do not have feedback they do not have support they don't have a mentor they don't have any of that shit. and they just watch content like it's netflix and they get nowhere and they say coding it's hard nobody's hiring juniors what about you actually doing the work and trying to get better every single day at your craft instead of complaining and bitching on the internet what about that this is your framework use it right now and you'll get massive results quickly and then you get into javascript and so on and so forth you learn more stuff you'll get better and then you'll get paid coding it's the easiest skill that you can learn nowadays i have changed my mind completely coding is the easiest thing nowadays i can name 10 other skills that are way more difficult than coding and i actually made a video about that that's the video for today i hope you liked it i'll see you in the next one bye bye